you guys, today I'm going to do a special <laughs> My Ghetto View uh, video. I have my sister on speakerphone, so we just going to fucking just talk about topics and we're going to roll with it because I'm telling y'all, our phone conversations be off the hook and I'm like, fuck it, let me just go on and push record. So people can see how we interact just even on the phone while y'all be talking about us when we be in the same room. So, okay, wait, say it again. Make sure they can hear you. Okay, y'all can make sure my speaker was going up. <laughs> okay, now, we were just talking about loving hip-hop because... <laughs> My sister don't ever be here, or well, she don't be in town or whatever when I'm watching Love and Hip Hop, and we both be having, like, things to say. Um, now, what was we talking about with, what was her name? Ashley. Oh, yeah, right, I got about all of I'm talking about Ashley ass. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I seen everybody's videos. Everybody was going on with dumbass, Kirk. But my thing is, Kurt, how can you call and pay for shell for calling your wife a half bitch? But you went to her studio, pressed her out, did all that bullshit to her. But this old busy old bitch, Ashley, you let know, this bitch get a pass, what are you at? For real though, because, but, but you know they stupid. They just fucking dumb. Like, I ain't gonna be fucking. So we gotta keep your side chick happy. No, no. no. <laughs> That's why I don't understand people saying that. A lot of people were saying that that Rashida didn't have no right to be going at Ashley and all that kind of stuff. Fuck, she did. Yeah, because my thing is okay. Rashida, you don't have a right to open a bitch. You don't have to put her your mouth. Yeah, because my whole thing was Rashida always have my shit, but okay, right? No, she not. Yeah, because my whole thing, look, my whole thing with that was, Rashida did not come out, unless we didn't see it, Rashida did not say anything to that girl when they was, when they was talking, her and Kirk was talking outside. That girl was like, hey, Rashida, come on, Kirk. Bitch, no, like. Yeah, my thing is, you as an artist, boo-boo, he's talking to his wife. You respect that. I know you, okay, she said, because I've seen the interview. I don't know what we're fucking we're site. Side in that car. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't care what, I don't know what interview I was watching, but she did an interview, and she was saying how Rashida came at her when they first met. Oh. So now that gave her a reason to go at Rashida every, you know, this time or whatever. And I'm like, no, bitch. No. No, but you, bitch, you been going at her from day one. Mm hmm No, I didn't go no. Let me take that back. Day one, bitch, you was on over she's that asshole. Mm hmm Now she was crazy and she did it and she inspired by her. But now that she old and washed up and it, stop playing. It, it, and it started all over because Rashida did not give her a hug on that red carpet. I don't know you. Why would I hug you? And that's you know, what she said. No, she said her and Rashida, them, they walked the red carpet, but when it was time to take pictures, then Rashida didn't want to hug her. But I'm like, okay, and... You don't know you. You don't know my husband. That's what you know. To me, her, her mouth is too reckless. Her mouth is reckless as fuck. And I'm thinking, like, bitch, you ain't got no music out, and this is how you want to present yourself to the world? Like, bitch, who, who gonna buy your thing because Thoughts and Ratchets not That's buying not it? That's not even Thoughts and Ratchets are buying that because you would think they download their shit for free. I'm just saying. So, who's buying your music, boo-boo? You don't have a fan base like that. <laughs> oh, and she, I don't think, um... It, she was the bartender at the bar. She That's how they met. She was a bartender. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The only motherfucker that's going to buy her shit. The motherfucker at the bar. No, that's she didn't. That's how they heard it. Because that's the only one that's paying at that bar. That shit is so dumb. There's nobody looking for that shit. You're not even cute. That's my bitch. You're not even cute. Shut okay. Up. Like, uh, just because your motherfucking ass got a 22-inch weave do not make you fucking cute. Uh, 
Right. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I was going to say she probably got that done at the $50 hair shop, but bitch, I would have went there. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, bitch. Um, yeah. Okay, next question. Who else? Dumbass Nico is dumbass. No, fuck love and yeah. hip hop. Fuck love and hip hop. That shit bullshit. Did you watch um the cutting it in the ATL the second episode? Mm, the second episode. Bitch, it only been oh, two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, bitch, it only been two. Yeah, I would have kicked Deidre's okay. out too. Okay, let me give you my word down on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> let me get this time. I'm not that much of a girl like that. Because, bitch, I couldn't deal with bitches like these. I, want, I don't even want to go to shops that own my bitches like these. First of all, I'm not paying a thousand dollars to go get my hair done. No, from nobody. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, the eye hair fucking looking all that. Mm-hmm. I like, now I think everybody keeps saying they don't like Deidre. Okay. I like Deidre. Deidre I just don't like her approach to some things. I can deal with Deidre better than I can deal with that other What's that? Beauty? Ugly? Beauty, I can't oh, fuck with her. Is. Yeah, I call her ugly because her attitude is all fucked up. And that bitch look like she used to work at the cops and swat me. Why? That bitch <laughs> <ain't gonna laughs> <get her. laughs> Her weave look like she got it at the fair of my swat me, but she look like she worked at the cops and swat me. So, bitch, I can't even say the sloth and swat me because bitch, no, no. <laughs> Oh, no, no. And if y'all don't know, if y'all not from LA, y'all don't know who he's talking about. But y'all know Compton, so y'all can know what they swap me is like. Um, the Slots and Swap Me is another hood swap me. Hey, bitches in the projects can do some hair. Fuck that. Fuck what you're talking about. Bitches in the projects can do some hair. I know bitches in the projects can get better shit than that bitch. Bitch, I'm telling you, bitch, I'm telling you, bitch, I'm telling you, bitch, I'm let me get on her stupid sister. Even though she don't say shit, she, she's stupid. Yeah. Like, like, because when, when did that mean? No, when the girl came to visit her at the shop. Yeah, when Lakina came in there, that's why I said it was something her sister said. Her her sister must have agreed with Lakina because she didn't say not a goddamn thing. Yeah, but even if I don't agree with Lakeisha, bitch, you're not gonna come here to front my picture on my face. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Don't think you gonna come to my job and get fuck me. And then my sister gonna sit there, bitch. What they do that at? Well, not not know where I'm at. She just look like she's slow, or she just up her sister's ass, or she on her. Backbone or I don't see. You only see one person working in every shop, so how everybody doing so good? <laughs> no, you see a lot of people working at um. She wasn't natural hair. She the only one. Yeah, but she is, but she is the only one that you see a whole full staff. <laughs> um, what's her name? Maya. I like her. I like her. I like Maya. Cause bitch, I would go to your fifty dollar hair shop all day. Me too. I, I think the person that do it, I think that was production that made that scene, that made, no, because I don't believe nobody would, no. Because my thing is, how do you have, like, six locations? If your, if your shit that bad, how do you have six yeah, locations? How do you have, that, I, beauty just mad because, bitch, don't nobody even look like they come to her shop. And I'm like, wrong, hey, but I ain't never heard nobody in Atlanta talk about that bullshit. Hey, I've heard I've heard about the fifty dollar weave before. I've heard about that company. Now yeah, the I other company no. I bet you if they had some that they would be sold the fuck up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. And I know a lot of girls that'll work for it. I don't care what y'all say, I don't like that natural hair bitch. She I has her good that bitch in her face. She have her good and bad moments. No, no, when? When is her good moments? She do, she have her good moments because when she was talking... She did good and fake up for Maya. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. When she was talking about Maya, that was a good point. Her whole, her whole event... At that motherfucking thing, when 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I'm listening. I'll be right here. We're going to be like, are you doing for fucking TV? That's my problem with it. That's my whole problem. I don't have a problem, and everybody knows, if you watch my video, I support Bruce Jenner, but I have, like, questions because I remember when he was on the damn channel. Or, my thing is, every time you do, I don't know, they just, I don't it's know. Why is this bullshit a No, my whole thing is, I don't have a problem with him, and I don't like, I don't have a problem with him coming out and him wanting to be a woman and that. My problem is, you said, I mean, he said on that Diane story, that Diane story, whoever the fuck the interview lady was, but, um, he was saying how this wasn't going to be played out into TV. Yeah, and it's been played out on TV ever since he said something. Ever since he said something, it's been played out. He had... If you motherfuckers don't get off with your way. He had... No, because that's disrespectful. That was disrespectful. That's why I didn't share it. Because I'm not calling this woman a fan. If somebody did y'all mother like that, but first of all, you have a child. That she is fucked up. Child. That's I never called her a man. You have a child. That's right. You have a child. You know what I'm saying? So, how would people feel if somebody kept calling their mama a man? Or your mama look like a man? Or your mama needs to come out the car? Come on now. I thought that was way wrong what they did to her. That was so disrespectful that she needed to come out and introduce herself as Walter. Like, come on now. <laughs> you know, everything is not funny. Because the people really have feelings. And we have too many people in society killing themselves or, you know, depressed. When y'all want to fucking bash somebody else. You know another you thing I don't like. Gay people, but you want to talk about somebody else's lips. You know another thing I don't like and I don't appreciate them fucking kid memes. That meme about that baby girl. That, that shit is fucked up. Shit, I be like, you know, really? Even the people that be sharing that shit, I be getting mad because I'm like, what if this was y'all baby? That is the what? most fucked up shit to do kids like that. Now these grown motherfuckers, y'all making memes though. That's on them. But to do kids like that, I think that is fucked up. You never know what this baby is born with. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you just never fucking know. And for them to do these kids like that, I think it's wrong. There's so many people in this world feeling themselves because of social media. And it's just and look where they're starting. They're starting with babies. So these babies don't even have a fucking life to live because... They own social network. It ain't they fault they pictures up on the fucking internet. That's their parents' fault. Nine years old with cancer and shit. But regardless of how old, it's still a kid. Like a child, that shit should just be authentic. And this is why this is why I don't be mad at um Candy from Sweet Addictions for not never putting her kids' picture on social media. You thinking you putting a kid a cute picture? You think you putting a cute picture of your kid up and then there's some fucking troll on the internet is dogging your kid out and then you got yeah, yeah, immature yeah, ass yeah, people. That's dog. That's just so... And then you got immature ass people that's resharing that shit thinking that shit is cute. That shit is not fucking cute. We're talking about the world we need to be a better place. I don't fucking to be a better place when everybody's still putting everybody down. And it be the same motherfuckers that say we shouldn't do that. It'd be the same people saying, we need to come together, we need to do this, and we need to be better people, but it'd be the same people that reshare them pictures. Yep. I hate that. I feel like that is not these kids. That People shouldn't do these kids like that. They ain't got no Facebook. They not sharing them pictures. That's just fucking wrong. Just like another thing I don't like, these stupid ass celebrities that is using these people with disabilities. You know what I'm saying? I mean, okay, yeah, A-Town put his stuff out there. But these celebrities are using them for laughs and giggles on their right. stage. You talking about that boy? Yeah, would nobody put that boy on his day shit any other fucking time unless y'all was using him for laughs and giggles. He don't fucking rap. He don't do nothing. 
He don't do nothing. You got all kind of bad bitches being with this boy just so they can be around him because he's been around celebrities. And that just shows you what kind of shallow bitches you are to be around this boy. Knowing you don't like him. Knowing you be laughing at him. That's fucked up. That's, they did A-Town like that. They did that boy terry like that. Like, come on. Instead of helping this boy lose fucking weight. All these people are trying to dance and have fun. And y'all go too much. And they using the them kids for laughs and fucking giggles. Wrong. Just wrong. And, and think we need to change shit. How can we change shit when y'all still doing the same dumb shit? Like, I don't know. I just be venting and ranting and seeing shit. Just like I seen, I'm tired of these fucking parents shaming their kids on the internet. Yeah. Every day we get a new video. Yeah, because I, uh, yeah, I found you. Saying that bullshit about the, the, the stepmama. But now this, I mean, I know the one is old about the daddy beating, um, going at his son for game banging or whatever, but they still sharing that to this day. They still sharing it. Now, with him, I get it. He didn't really beat his son ass. He didn't know that bullshit cut her baby hair. Go ahead. Go ahead. I would have punched your ass in the throat if you would have put your hand on my fucking child here. Now, I understand people saying that the group that the boy grew up with this lady or whatever. He did? So, first of all, <laughs> you cut his hair they because he's a weak bitch. So, I mean, I don't condone him too much a week. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, that's not that style of fucking smoking weed. It's not. It's and embarrassing him. Bitch, you gonna go put on the hat and smoke another blunt. I'm just saying. He gonna have weed. He's doing that at school. Yes. Put his ass on punishment, but you're cutting his hair? That's not a fucking punishment. That's not doing nothing. Okay, you put it on the Facebook or whatever, the Instagram, whatever. Bitch, you can put on your hat. My thing is she thought she was embarrassing him, and she, she got she embarrassed. She thought she was going to embarrass him, and she got embarrassed. Because all her skeletons came out. Well, most of them. But no, did you see the one where the dad was fucking his son up? I mean, whooping his son's ass. The boy looked I like he was... I don't get it. But the boy looked like he was about 17, maybe 18. But his daddy came home and he was smoking weed in the house. So you beat him up outside? Because... Yeah, because he didn't film it. He didn't film it. Somebody, they was outside. And whoever house they were by, whoever house they were by, that's who was filming it. And they were like, I guess people were trying to get him, but they were like, no, don't get him. That's his son. That's his son. But I'm like, he is fucking this boy up. It was straight child abuse. I don't give a fuck which way nobody see it. Now, it's, it's, a, it's, a, yeah, it's a way to discipline your child. The wrong way and that child would have died. I mean, girl, when, when I say he was fucking him up, he was sucking him all in the face, all that. And the boy wasn't even, and the boy wasn't hitting back. He wasn't, he didn't hit his daddy back. He wasn't hitting him back. Um, he, but the dad was fucking him up. I mean, when I say you heard them hit, and it wasn't like the daddy was like no little dude. So I'm like, are you kidding me? You doing this on camera? You can whoop his ass in the house. My thing is, if you want to whoop his ass, whoop his ass in the house. What the fuck you whooping him outside for the whole world to fucking see for? Me too. Me too. I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, you are supposed to be able to fuck with your child, but it's supposed to be a certain way. It's a way to discipline your child. And to me, that was overboard and abuse. I don't care what nobody say. It was overboard and fucking abuse. When this nigga was shocking him in the face, they close fist. And they want to be on a fight. What is that going to stop? Because my thing is, when y'all, when people, when parents got their ass whooped as a child, did you still do bad shit? This boy, uh, 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 back that fucking shit up. Back that up. We ain't got no fucking whoopers with no extension cord. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Me? 
no. I'm just saying, like, it's our generation. <laughs> yeah, our generation. <laughs> the grandma knew, dude. We did not get with you. Don't be trying to put my grandma out there like that. You're a goddamn liar. That's what we would get with rulers or whatever, you know. But we wouldn't, no, we wouldn't get shot in the face. Mm mm. No, I just heard this fucking story. I guess it happened in 2013 or something. Where these four people beat this girl that was 14 to make her have a miscarriage. What? Yes. And I don't know if the girl... I don't know if the, one of the grown people fucked the little girl and got her pregnant. But they waited until the girl was eight months to beat the baby out of her. And no, and this is why they beat her up. Because they said they didn't want her to have this baby and then social services come and take the rest of the kids out the house. So why y'all just didn't make her get abortion in the beginning? In the beginning. And at eight months, they made her take some morning after pills. That didn't work. So the, one of the dudes sat on her stomach and bounced up and down and kicked her in the stomach until she started bleeding and had a baby. I said, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, they all arrested. But I'm like, God damn, man, it's 2015 and we just heard about this story? Like, come on. Even if she was 14, she couldn't have took care of that baby. Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, I, I just was like, that's fucked up. She's going to have to deal with that for the rest of her life. And they probably fucked her up so bad she won't even be able to have no more kids. That'd be really supposed yeah, when I heard that story, and I think it was on um, Madame, it was on that Madame Dior or whatever, what the fuck is the people? It's Madame Noor.com, I think it's called, I don't know. You know that shit. M-A-D-A-M-E-N-O. I R E dot com. Then they say, yeah. Then this website, mom arrested for allegedly locking son out of home because he stayed out past curfew. Right. But the mama got arrested. The mama got arrested. That's some bullshit. Yes. And that's any parent rule, but I guess in her state, they ain't playing that shit. Please, please, please. Okay, so I'm tell you all something. <laughs> Y'all stupid. How the fuck you gonna let the parent when the child didn't follow the rules? Really? Wait. What the fuck? Really? Then this must say. My granny always told us, if you go to the night of my house, and your ass ain't in the house by 12 o'clock, I'm knocking my door wherever you sleep, you sleep. Mm-hmm. And she still got that room to this fucking day. My granny still got that room to this motherfucking day. It's her well, door locked and you okay, ain't in it. Still, there has been a damn time where I had to go pay for a hotel room because we had walked in the door with lock. <laughs> but guess what? It was her bag because my baby was up in the house. So I was like, she got a babysit. I just wanted my kids' work card police because they got locked the fuck out. Yeah, that's the only reason I got to open the door. Hey, you seen the um you seen who the fuck are the police on the parents with a parent too though? Man, I don't know who the fuck. Maybe somebody somebody friends fucked up parent. You know how people you know how these kids go to somebody's mom and then try to tell them a sad story. Hey, you seen the um little mama video? When he gets up there, I don't even like her. For real? <laughs> I don't have to like little mama just like this. Like, bitch, what the fuck? Hey, I like that little sausage popping song. I like this sausage song. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck y'all. I like the song. I think it's catchy. 
I don't. I think it's, wait, I'm telling you why I like the song. I think it's catchy. It gives you something to dance to. It ain't all about yeah, twerking. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just go back to the little mama video. It ain't about twerking. The girls wasn't half naked, ass cheeks hanging out. It wasn't none of that. That's why I like the song. But as you listen to the song, it was about safe sex. And wasn't nobody mad at TLC when they was talking about safe sex. So how the fuck can you be mad at little mama for talking about it? At least, and at least she has a message about safe sex in the song. Oh, and that's fucked up. People were like, how many years ago that was? I don't know, kid. It's like, I don't like Kanye. I don't know, kid. Oh, who, yeah, I don't like him either, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, what Beyonce video you didn't like? That's the video. The what? That's the video. I'm going to jump in the ass, pat it out. 7 Eleven. Yeah. I like that too because it's just like a gang of girls having fun in a room. No, don't get me wrong, y'all. I like music. Well, I like music. She's a bomb ass performer. Don't get me wrong. But that shit, no. Put you too wrong. I don't know. Yeah. No. No. Beyonce, stop playing. Get that song in the North Pole. What's that little name? Blue Eyes. Okay, let's go. So, what do you think about Homegirl being pregnant? Who? Kit. What's her name? Kim Kardashian. No. Huh? No. <laughs> Another accessory to me. <laughs> I don't like her with Kanye, so I don't, I don't, I don't Yeah, I don't, I don't like them two together either. Now, Blunt is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But I would have stopped it right there. I would have got my tools out. I'm so ready for Empire to come back on. I'm all over here having a little girl. I don't want to put Empire, bitch, you really stuck. He wouldn't let you go nowhere, bitch. He already up. That's what you want. You want to go out? I'm telling you, I'm waiting on them to break up because he's going to tell everything. That, that fool's going to tell everything when they break up. He is. I can't wait till Courtney and Scott break up. Me too. He's going to tell everything too. He's going to your best selling book ever. Yeah, because he's been, he been there through all the relationships and all the drama. He going to have, ooh, he, they going to pay him all good. Scott, 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 he wouldn't do that. And if I was him, I wouldn't take no money from their ass. I'd be like, nope. You know, we're going to write a book. Wild ass. Oh, yeah. I, I, I would buy that too. Yeah, 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 I would buy that too. They, they family broke. That, that, that mama broke them up. They mm -hmm. mama and Kim broke them up. No, I don't even think the mama. Kim broke them up. Very negative ass. See, I don't watch that show, so I don't know. Yeah, I watch every, every episode. I'm not wrong. No, I watch, I watch that two, that two part special with Bruce. But other I than that. Every episode, bitch, I ain't even went back to season one, it went back again. Like, I, was, I love, I mean, I love this show. Don't get me wrong. That's only because Chloe on it. And Scott. I ain't watching for Chloe and Scott. Okay, last, last topic, before, because we already been talking 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Oh, <laughs> so, last topic. Jocelyn versus uh, Funky Doniva. I don't think I can say something because you're going to lose No, <laughs> you can say whatever you want to say. It's, uh, my channel is about everybody has their own opinion. Okay, well, that bitch boy deserves everything Joshua said about him. Like, my thing is, stop that. 
at least somebody said something. No, I ain't gonna keep laughing it off and say, oh, that's just gonna be that evil. When you say something, we ought to say something back. She said, with them, she said, what did she call them, bee suckers? <laughs> you better stop so we be all fiddles in the street, bitch. But my thing is, let me give y'all my opinion on that. I think we gotta shut it up when she said that. Yeah. Right? Wait, let me give you my opinion. I, I, I love both of them. But my thing is, apparently, Funky Doniva is not following Jocelyn or anything because she do have music out. Right. Because that Cootie Cat song is my shit. But my whole thing is with this. And let me get this out. I love Funky Doniva. I love Jocelyn. But my thing is... Motherfucking. Everybody don't have to be rude to be ever. You don't have to do that. Yeah. And that's my thing. My thing is this. As, as bloggers, just like we have an opinion, the people that we talk about have an opinion. Right. That's my whole thing. The way he came at her. He has an opinion, but he goes to fall. Yeah, the way that he um went after her or whatever. Not even. Well, no, he didn't even go at her hard. He goes too far with everybody. Yeah, but he didn't even go at her hard because all he asked her was about her music. But you can tell that it's built up shit from her. Yeah. And like I say, just like he had an opinion, she had an opinion too. And I don't know why VH1 thought it would be cool for him to ask Jocelyn a question, knowing Jocelyn is no filter. And she don't like it. She's going to say what she feels. And my thing is, VH1 knew what they were doing. VH1 knew what they were doing. What he because, goddamn, when are we going to get the week where Bondi going to be on there? Because Bondi's been supposed to be on there for like the last two or three weeks, and we keep getting funky Doniva. I don't understand. Yeah, because I thought she was going to be on there this week, too. Exactly. We thought she was going to be on there last week. I mean, not last week. We before last, and funky Doniva was on there. That's why I stopped watching it. The last one I seen was when the Scorpion them was on there. Yeah, the last thing I was on there is when the Scorpion them was on there because I think the show is whack. No, that's your man. Jocelyn down fucking pack. <laughs> um, no, Forrest Rock got as um Jocelyn down pack. Nah, she got motherfucking. No, she got Candy whole family on on down pack. But that damn Jocelyn, oh my God, I be in tears when uh, Forrest Rock talk about her. She got tissues. I love her. She got. I love her. Now, Ashley. Cause she say what the fuck she feels it don't give it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, y'all. Uh, you motherfuckers out there like one at a time. I ain't that big yet. But um, anyway, you guys, that was our last topic. We've been talking for forty fucking minutes. If you like this kind of video, I will call my sister with no problems, and we can do it like this. Cause. She has an opinion just like I have an opinion. Y'all have an opinion. Don't call me doing bingo hours. Okay? This bitch said, don't call her doing bingo hours. Well, bitch, I ain't gonna never be able to talk to you then. This <laughs> bitch be at bingo like four days a week. What the fuck? Your daddy. You, bitch, say my daddy again. Your daddy. <laughs> Your daddy, though. <no. laughs> this is like us all the time. But anyway... Y'all make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Um, what's your Snapchat? Oh, oh, Miss Lanika. Miss Lanika M S. M I Z Z. M I Z Z. 
L A N E K A is her Snapchat. Y'all can follow her. No, wait. I don't know what that is. This jacket then. Oh, um, it is. M I D D. With your Instagram. Miss Lenica. With your Facebook. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, yeah. Follow her on all social media sites at Lenica. L A N E K A. Follow me on all social media sites by the Ghetto View, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Make sure you guys, if you go into the blackout, please leave it in the comment section so I can know who all are going to the blackout September the 5th in Atlanta, Georgia. It's going to be at the Crow's Nest. Make sure y'all there. I will be there. I booked my room yesterday. So, you know, I will be in attendance for the blackout. And also, I will be in attendance for the Fresh Collective Um event the day before on September the 4th. Um, I'm trying to get my sister to go, but you know, she, she broke it in me, so, you know, it ain't gonna work. Um, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> she, this bitch got a job. Uh, go to work every day. She just cheap as fuck. Um, but yeah, talk to us and we'll talk to you. Shout out to Mike B, um, Ashley, Forest Rocks, Jamila TV, um, the Fresh Collector Sam, um, who else? Ashley. Did I say Ashley? Um, <laughs> Nays, uh, Naysway, um, Jamar Washington, uh, everybody, they shout out to everybody. Make sure y'all watch everybody channel. If there's a new channel y'all want me to watch, let me know in the comment section. If you do a channel, let me know. And we could talk like that. Um, all right, you guys. Peace out.